Hello, this is Ray Marquis, Senior Application Engineer with Valen Corporation. And this short video is going to show how to change the IP address of the network card on your PC. In many of the tasks we perform as application engineers, we have to change the IP address of our PC in order to match up with the devices that we're connecting to. So this short video will show you how to do that. On the screen, you can see a sample network with a PC, a PLC, and a network device that the PLC needs to communicate to. The simplest network and the one most common to be used when we're working with industrial controls on a simple machine is to have the first three numbers of the IP address set the same. That would be the network number. It's highlighted in bold on the screen. The last number is the node number of each device, and you can see that those are different for each device. So our goal here is to set up our PC to have the correct network number for the devices that we're going to connect to. I find it helpful to make a sketch similar to the drawing that we saw previously. That helps me keep the devices and their IP addresses straight without having to just rely on my memory. Depending on which operating system you have, you're going to need to get to your network connections. There are several ways to get to the Ethernet settings. The first one that you can use is if you're in Windows 10, you can click on the start icon and just type in Ethernet. And at the top of the list comes Ethernet settings. If you click on that, you'll be brought to this window and you'll want to click on change adapter settings here. And that'll get you here. The next way to do it is if you look at the bottom here and show hidden icons, you'll see your Wi Fi if you're connected to Wi Fi. If you're not connected to Wi Fi, this will be a globe or, or some other symbol, but it'll say, you know, internet access here. If you click on that, it'll bring up the list of available Wi-Fi connections usually. And right here at the bottom is this network and internet settings link. If I click on that, that takes me here. And then I click on ethernet. And then we're back where we were just a second ago. Change adapter settings by selecting that. You'll be back to your ethernet settings here. I have several network connections here. My network cable is currently plugged in, and that makes this one the only one without an X on it. I know I don't need to change my Wi-Fi, so I need to change this one. If I unplug my network cable, suddenly there's an X on it. This helps me identify which network port on my laptop I'm going to change. I'll double click on this icon, then I'll select the properties button. and then double click on my IP version, TCP IP v4. For most laptops, when you get to this point, this radio button is gonna be selected to obtain an IP address automatically. That means that when you connect your wired ethernet port to your business or your home router, it gets an IP address that makes your laptop a member of that network. What we wanna do is click on this button to specify an IP address and if you go back to the beginning of the video, you can see that my devices are on the network of 172.21.90, 172.21.90. And then I want to make my laptop a, a node different than every other device on that network. So I'll just pick 101 and then click into the subnet mask and whatever it sets here is normally OK. The trick is that once you're done working with the device, if you use your wired Ethernet port to get to the Internet for browsing or email, then you're going to want to come back here and switch this back to obtain IP address automatically so that you can do that uh, when you're not working with the device that you're working with. So get to here, change the network address to the same network as your device, and then make the node number different from your device or any other device on the network and you've successfully changed your IP address for your computer. Clicking on OK just to get back to where we were. You can leave this window open if you want, and then you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach us using the information on the screen.